Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? Let's discuss this. This man killed three females, then asked God for forgiveness. Check this video out. Response moments after officers say a man shot his ex girlfriend, his 11 month old baby, and two other women. You can see that video right up there. This has been a huge story today. All three women died. The baby is still in the hospital. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Shay Rossi. This happened at the Wood Creek Apartments near I-244 in Garnett this morning. Now, this man, Caleb Vinson, you see here, is in jail, facing three charges of first-degree murder, shooting with intent to kill, and burglary. We have team coverage as we talk with the sister of one of the victims. But we start with Fox 23's John Acebus. John, we are all wondering, how is that baby doing tonight? Well, police are telling us tonight the baby is out of surgery and is expected to survive. We're also learning one of the victims had a protective order filed against Vincent that was eventually dismissed. I spoke with an expert in domestic violence. She says that in itself is not uncommon. Just before 627 this morning, you can see a Tulsa police officer taking a right off of Garnett Road. About a minute later, you see him turning around and rushing to the Wood Creek Apartments, as well as ambulances and multiple other police units, one by one. At approximately uh, 630 this morning, uh, a call went out for a shooting. This is when it became real to the world that Ashley Atwell, Anaway Mackey, and Sarah Gonzalez were shot and killed. Upon arrival, uh, we discovered that there were multiple victims uh, of a shooting. A child was also shot. Police say he's out of surgery and is expected to survive. One of the women killed, Ashley Atwell, was Vincent's former girlfriend and had filed a protective order against him last October. Sometimes people have to weigh their pros and cons for going forward with a permanent protective order. Less than two weeks later, the PO against Vincent was dismissed after no one showed up to court. I spoke with Jordan Gusson. She's the vice president of clinical services for domestic violence intervention services in Tulsa. She says it's not uncommon to see a PO dropped. A protective order is ultimately just a piece of paper. And so sometimes it may be really helpful and sometimes it actually increases your risk of getting hurt. Gustin tells me it's a case by case basis, but no matter the case, Monday morning, the worst of all outcomes happened with three women losing their lives and a baby suffering terrible injuries. We also know that a teenager jumped out of a window and managed to escape. Police say Vincent turned himself in after they say he felt guilty about what happened. He felt guilty. He felt guilty. That's why he turned himself in. A crazy story right here, man. Crazy. What makes somebody want to kill three females and his own child? attempt to kill his own child i would never understand it makes no sense to me ladies protect yourself let me know what you think i'm out of here